we are going to draw stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. So the basement membrane is here. So this epithelium is stratified. That means it has many layers. So let's draw different layers here. So first layer is columnar epithelium. So let me draw the first layer. Next layer are made of polyhedral cells. Now remember one thing, here these cells are polyhedral cells, they are not round cells, they are polyhedral. Now coming to the next layer, so you can draw 2 to 3 layers or more than that or 4 layers you can draw. The next layer is stratum granulosum. Here the cell shape changes from polyhedral to round. So that is what we are going to represent, change in shape of the cell. Now on top of it you can draw the really flat uh, cells, I'm sorry here the flat cells can be drawn one or two layers now I am drawing keratinized, keratinized epithelium so I am drawing the keratin here or the stratum corneum these are ducts of sweat glands now let me tell you this layer this is stratum basal, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, these flat cells and stratum lucidum, you can see a space here, stratum lucidum, this is stratum lucidum and the last one is stratum corneum. So these are the five layers of skin, thick skin. Okay, so we have drawn a diagram of stratified squamous keratinous epithelium. Here I have drawn uh, the picture of uh, skin that is thick skin you can see the uh, keratinization at the uh, at this level uh, which is nothing but the stratum corneum so the cells are moving from basement membrane to the top as you can see initially they are columnar then become polyhedral then squamous round then squamous then these cells die off 
and they are appearing the dead cells with keratin can be seen in this layer so these are the five layers of thick skin so this is a, this is an example of stratified epithelium so it is a stratified epithelium so stratified in the sense we have uh, more than one layer of cells here you can see this is the base layer basal layer and you can see other layers we can notice one thing is that in stratified epithelium the cells which are above the basal layer are not going to touch the basement membrane only the basal cells touch the basement membrane stratum basal is also called as stratum germinativum because here the cells are produced and at the top the cells are getting died off or shed off from the skin in this area so in thin skin and thick skin you have the keratin only difference between thick and thin skin is that in thin skin the amount of the keratin would be less and stratum granulosum also will be absent in thin skin there are multiple differences so i am not going to detail that now so we will see that in a later stage i hope you have understood thank you